Hey everyone, I'm Killjake99 and welcome back to Dishonored 2. Like, she's not gonna be happy at all. Alright, it doesn't look like anything significant has changed. I'm gonna assume that this is still friendly. Okay. It is. I wasn't trying to talk to you, but all right. Yes, Anton. All right, yeah, let's go. You old yes. goat. I paid a visit to Byrne and Paolo, and I've been to Aramis Stilton's house. We can go. All right, then. We are free to leave. Go back to the dreadful whale. Duke Luca Abel tore down the old palace in Karnaka and built himself a new one. A monument to his ego. Whether he knows it's coming or not, I'm here to make him pay for everything he's done. I'm going to show him what happens to those who turn traitor to the Empire. After tonight, the Duke will either be dead or deposed, depending on how this plays out. Whatever happens to Sir Konos in the aftermath is his fault, not mine. I've got to get inside, take care of the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. I can do that. Oh, hello. Soon, I'll dissolve into the great nothing. You should be at peace. I've stayed too long. Find a lighter spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Okay. I think I'm gonna trap her inside the heart, maybe? Dust District, can't seem to find the words to describe the misery here and the grit in the air. I've been coughing for an hour straight and my mind feels cloudy. I got rid of Paolo, the leader of the Howlers. He brought only fear and trickery. He'll trouble the city no more, and that goes for Vice Overseer Liam Byrne as well. His intolerance, his personal ambition. Could any of us live up to the expectations the Overseers demand? Whoever ends up ruling over Kanaka won't be a gang of cutthroats, nor will it be the Abbey. Now I need to make sure it won't be Duke Luca or Bell either. Delilah's secret. Today I saw the effects of the void leaking into Aramis Stilton's house through the cracks in reality. I was able to see the past and the present simultaneously. I learned a great deal looking into the night of the Duke's gathering. Three years passed. I watched a seance that brought Delilah's spirit from the void where she was trapped, and into this world I saw that spirit preserved in an effigy made of bone by the witch Brianna Ashworth. And that effigy holding Delilah's spirit was given to Duke Abel for safekeeping. Now I know why Delilah cannot be killed. As long as she's not whole, she'll remain immortal. Even the outsider seemed worried. This is the information I've been seeking. Now I just have to re turn it into a plan. Easy mode. We just gonna kill a bitch. I'm ready to go. We shall go on in it. Oh, hello. Answer from Wyman. My Emily, your career has only given me scant minutes to write back before he leaves for your secret location. I'm in tears that he won't give me the location or take me along, but I trust you. I don't know if it's fair to be this angry with you, or if I should instead cry tears of joy knowing you're still alive. It seems that Morley is on the verge of going to war against Crystal, and the rumors from Dunwall are grim and strange. I've heard about soldiers made of metal, women commanding the trees, and whales gathering in the harbor, singing their songs in reverse. I hate the whole world for being between you and me while we should be holding hands. Please be safe or I won't know what to do. Wyman. Aw. He cares about me. That's sweet. 
All right, I'm gonna look around. Oh, hello. Well, this is different. We must have sold all that cargo. I've already been there. Nothing new here. Fuck you, rats. Alright, that's fine. I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to go after the Duke. Aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Where the fuck? Oh, it must be up there. What in the shit is going on here? What the fuck are you doing, Sokolov? I have no idea what any of that means. Is that boiling? Uh, okay, whatever. That's not how science a works. A gangster could never be trusted to run a city. Byrne wanted to be high overseer. Duke Abel spared no expense on his new palace. It's tacky if you ask me. All right, don't know why that door is locked. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, I guess I'll be with you now. Megan, you're gonna be pissed, and I'm sorry. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Killing off Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. Traitors Everyone die. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke of Bell is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed. They just gave me a map for the Grand Palace. That seems stupid for them to do. Because now it just means I'm going to kill everyone. Good to know. Not helpful, but good to know. It's time to kill this fucker. Because it's not just him. That's going to be it for this episode, everyone. So like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!